So in the year 1800, William Herschel, another scientist who was playing around with light, he did the same experiment. He uh, passed white light through a glass prism. It all refracted and dispersed the colors. And he had those colors like hit uh, a boundary like this. And he was able to get nice even strips of the colors much better than I was able to do. And so he could see the red, orange, the yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And then he did something really interesting. He had the idea to put a thermometer in each of these zones to try to see how much temperature was being accumulated in these areas to, to get a sense of how much energy was associated with each of these bands of light. And so he also had the brilliant idea of putting an extra thermometer out here outside of the red band. And he actually did this by mistake because he intended for this to be the control so that this could be like normal temperature and then he could compare that to the rest. But accidentally it turned out what he found was that this thermometer ended up being significantly hotter than all the rest of them. So he went to check on the thermometers later and he was shocked to see how hot this area was outside of the red zone. And what he concluded from that is that there's some other light beyond red that is invisible to the human eye. Because if there was nothing there, no energy there, there should have been no temperature reading on this thermometer. It should have been room temperature. And so he actually accidentally discovered what we call infrared light. 